Question this evening, we talked about it earlier this week. Will we be buried in snow this winter? The new 2018 Old Farmers Almanac prediction is circulating online right now. It says that North Texas might be in for a brutal blast of cold and snow this winter. But before anyone counts on this to happen, don't be rushed to believe everything you read and hear. We asked our Verify team to figure out just how accurate the Almanac really is. Here's News 8's Bradley Blackburn. First, you need to know there are two different almanacs, the Farmer's Almanac and the Old Farmer's Almanac. That's the one we're talking about. It claims to be 80% accurate. Here's what our own weather expert, meteorologist Colleen Coyle, has to say about that. That would be an amazing thing, a breakthrough in science, if you could say a year from now what the weather is going to be like. But honestly, I mean, it's a coin toss for things like that. So let's put its predictions to the test. Here are the Almanac's forecasts for the past six winters. Only two of them are right. The past two winters were mild and dry, just as it expected. But the other four were either wetter or warmer than predicted. Be careful where you get your information from because everyone out there nowadays has a long range forecast. And to be honest, even getting a seven to 10 day forecast is still difficult for meteorologists. But get this, the Almanac even predicts the weather down to stretches of days a year in advance. So we dug up six of the most notable weather events in North Texas to see if the predictions measured up. Spoiler alert, it was 50-50. It missed the mark for the 1978 New Year's Eve ice storm, predicted to be sunny and cold. Also, the 1995 Mayfest hailstorm, which was supposed to be warm with light showers. And the end of March 2006 was supposed to be sunny and warm, but flooding rains forced people in Dallas County out of their homes. Now these next three, the 2015 Garland and Rowlett tornado, 2016's billion dollar hailstorm in Collin County, and the tornado in downtown Fort Worth in 2000, it did predict a chance of thunderstorms for each of these days, which always has a chance of producing a tornado. It's nothing that you can trust long term. That's why you got to turn to us. You got to turn to your local folks that know the seasons here and know what to expect. And you know that we're basing our answers and what we show you on science. We can verify no, the almanac isn't 80% accurate. The best you could argue is about 50%. So leave the forecasting to the meteorologists or maybe this guy. I've got a prediction. I mean, okay. It's going to be colder, uh, colder than it is now. Uh, sometimes really cold. Sometimes not all that cold. Uh, maybe some snow, but not, not guaranteed. Watch out, Colleen. Yeah, I know. Even Dale Hansen can be 50-50. You know, it's going to be colder or maybe it won't. Hey, yeah. I just want to tell you what, you know, don't trust someone with secrets. And the old Farmer's Almanac does not share mm. how they do their forecast. It's actually, I'm not making this mm. up, in a black box at their headquarters. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of okay. like the Coca-Cola recipe. Plus, you had a right. good point about this. Yeah, you got to pay for the farmer's almond. Exactly. Right? So they got to sell, sell it. You got to sell it. Yeah. yeah. You don't and have I've, to pay for Colleen's forecast. It's free. I mean, I guess I should start charging. <laughs> I know, right? Starting today. Please send your checks to Victory Park right now. All right.